Welcome back ladies and gentlemen, I'm a Cloudy Sheep and we are playing Command Modern Air and Naval Operations. We are trying to recapture the Canary Islands here from the Northern African um, Islamic Alliance, which in particular includes Morocco, even though uh, I think most of the enemies that we've been facing um, have actually been uh, yeah, Egyptian Air Force so far, but uh, they probably just uh, got over here. Um, we came out of the first couple of fights, um, more or less victorious. Uh, we lost two of our uh, F-18, which was a bit uh, unfortunate and which was mainly because we were rather greedy. Um, but that being said, uh, we also downed about, I believe, four F-16s of the Egyptian Air Force um, and one of their um, long-range surveillance uh, planes. Uh, we also sank one of their submarines, which I find uh, very nice. Um, I think we'll change our patrol pattern here slightly, so this guy goes a bit over there. Um, we do know that about an hour ago, nearly an hour ago, um, quite a couple of um, ships must have been uh, around down here, but somehow we haven't really seen them since. Uh, which I do find a bit disappointing, but um, can't be helped for now. Um, I don't think we'll be able to spot them easily. I also realized that uh, we should really adapt one thing. Uh, there are a couple of fighters, enemy fighters down here, about four of them. Um, and we have one patrol pattern that, that goes of sort of like this, uh, which is um, limited by these uh, things that, that are highlighted here. So um, I think this is for our Rion craft. Um, so these guys over here, um, which are basically patrol aircraft, right? Um, and they're essentially very, very defensive, uh, defenseless. They only have a couple of um, torpedoes, but no air-to-air -air, um, ability. And that really means that um, they would be really vulnerable to interception here. They could also not run away, so I really think I want to um, move these guys a bit further back. Um, also here, maybe, just to... So we'll this won't really help with our um, patrol patterns, but um, it, it will help a bit with it not getting shot down. Um, also, here, this is the sort of helicopter area that um, um, should um, keep an eye on, on our main fleet over here um, to uh, make sure that there's no um, enemy sub coming in. Um, I think I want to adapt that slightly, uh, push it out a bit. Um, because this guy might be a bit vulnerable. Um, push it out a bit here as well. Um, and here pull it in a bit. <coughs> because this is just barely in our anti-air coverage. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> this sort of pink um, pink uh, thing here is our air weapons range, as you can see over here. So um, we, we've seen a couple of times that their uh, air force might uh, get drawn to our helicopters, and, and that's not really what I would um, like to see. Uh, other than that, there are still our submarines down there, which is fine and dandy. Uh, and we have um, a couple of things going on up here, um, primarily anti-submarine uh, anti helicopter things. Um, you can retarget yourself to this new location. Um, and we do have a couple of uh, flights going back home, like these four um, F-18s are going back to uh, the airbase up there. I think they are on afterburner, which maybe is a bit too much. Um, let's let's put them on military speed, not cruise speed, because they do have the fuel to burn. But um, yeah, uh, there should also be some Harriers over here, right? And they are returning to base or, uh, or already. Um, this arena was started, um, but I think we can tell it to go back home um, again. We haven't pulled out any tankers yet uh, because we don't really need to. Um, all of our fights, all of the fights, really happened uh, very close and very swiftly, so uh, there's been no need to pull them out yet. Um, on the other hand, we gave just gave orders here for four more F-18s to launch, so um, that should be fine. Let's uh, restart the game. Let's see what develops. Um, I think it might get a bit more quiet this episode. Um, I, d I don't immediately want to take these guys down here. Um, though I think we'd want to see how many more uh, units come out from here. 
and make me think about what's going on down here, right? Um, there's a Raider installation, there's an iHawk SAM um, battery. Um, let's look at the, the engagement um, prob uh, abilities to see if there is anything that, that might help us. It has a max range of 22 nautical miles, which was already indicated um, on our map. Let's see, um, I -Hawk M192 iHawk. So, unfortunately, there are no links, which is um, always a bit nasty. M192. Um, I, re I really would just like to click on it and, and end up on, on the right um, thing here, but M1. No, not here. Shouldn't be here. Sometimes the ordering of these things can be a bit weird. But it's definitely one, not a MI. Is it under IHawk? Weird. Why is it the E? Yeah, you should also know where the I is in the alphabet. It's a bit <coughs> stupid that the um, um, that the that it's so much stuff in the database that it, sometimes it's really difficult to find uh, what you need. Doesn't seem to be under IHawk. Why is it not under IHawk? Well, it should be M under M. Also blind? I don't think so. M. Hmm. Doesn't seem to be there. What? What? One last look at I. H. Oh well. Um, a couple of our flights landed, um, so that's fine. Um, and the performance of this just launched, so we can tell these guys also to just sort of get into this bay area here. Um, maybe, maybe we'll be able to attack them, but um, I doubt that this would be viable, and right, right now I'm not sure that would be any, even be a good idea. <coughs> You can see our group alpha um, is, is up here. Uh, we told um, half of these um, Harriers here to, to rearm themselves with a bit of a bit uh, better long range weaponry. Um, so that's hopefully fine. Uh, you can see there's a commercial fishing boat um, up here, which probably will look a bit uh, stupidified when, when there's uh, military forces coming up. Um, I'm still a bit worried about these guys down here. Um, there's also a potential submarine contact over there, uh, though we don't particularly know that necessarily. So, um, apart from the IHawk, which I'll look up between episodes, um, certainly, let's also look at the airfield over here. Um, and I think we'll want to um, ungroup everything. Can we do that? Switch to unit view? Yes. So. Um, because this is a custom scenario um, of the community, they, you can't really see an air, airfield here, um, but we can sort of see how it would go. Um, and this is all the stuff that the airport consists of. You can see that there are uh, one ray access points um, over here, one, two, three, um, some, some taxiway, uh, more access points. So probably the um, the actual um, one ray is, is is sort of here, and um, there are a lot of tarmac spaces, so basically just open spaces where you could park aircraft um, that run sort of in this direction. I think they all are pretty much that, um, and they all fit for large aircraft, even or below, of course. Uh, more tarmac space over here, uh, an actual hangar for medium aircraft, um, a control tower, more tarmac space, 
hangars, hangars, and for small aircraft though. So we only saw one hangar, I believe, for, for medium air aircraft. Uh, runway, um, a fuel storage tank, one tarmac space, runway access point, and there's probably military installations up here. Yeah, hardened aircraft shelter. Tarmac space, hardened aircraft shelter, hardened aircraft shelter. Lots of hardened aircraft shelters. Ammo, ammo storage. Hardened aircraft shelter, hardened aircraft shelter, hardened aircraft shelter, all that. Yes, yes. Ah, more ammo. Okay. Okay. So if we are thinking about attacking this base, um, obviously stuff that we need to deal with are uh, these these guys up here, the radar and the um, the um, anti-air battery. Um, but in 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 terms of the aircraft itself. Uh, sorry, the the um, <laughs> uh, the the airport itself. Um, you could disable it in in various uh, ways, right? Um, we could disable the runway itself. It's um, a ten thousand feet uh, runway, so it would be sort of actually very difficult to destroy, um, because a, every time you destroy a runway, a, let's say we put a big bomb in the middle you basically end up with two uh, 5,000 feet runways. Um, and that would still be very usable for a lot of aircraft. Let's um, have a look at our F-18s over here and then see what sort of um, takeoff distance uh, they would actually require. See, um, So about a kilometer, so that's 3,000 um, um, feet. And I, I believe the F-16s here might, might even be a bit lower than, than that. Um, yeah, so about 500 meters, 1,500 feet. Um, that's that's really, really, really. Uh, it would be really difficult to destroy uh, the runway itself. And even if we did that, airplanes could still actually use this taxiway over here, uh, because it's a runway grade taxiway. So um, if you think of a normal airport, they usually have the main runway, uh, and and then right next to that, um, decoupled by a couple of access points. Uh, a taxiway, so you know, planes would just like um, taxi, 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 and then uh, start in this way. So, even if this was de destroyed, they could just uh, say, "Okay, you know what? Um, it's uh, improvised, but we'll just start start straight from the taxiway." Um, so we'd actually need to destroy both, and and that would be super, super difficult. Um, we could also try to um, destroy the the access points themselves so they just can't access the uh, runway and that would that might actually work um, but it's still five targets so that's still rather difficult um, to be honest um, to, to really get that um, and I think this runway access point is actually um, connecting all, all these shelters to to the taxiway itself so um, and and all the uh, the airfield itself, so it would be kind of difficult to to destroy uh, the the airport like that. Um, we could also try to attack the parked aircraft itself, but um, like this this sort of shelter over here, um, as you can see, it's it's pretty massive. It's it's a very hard target. Um, it would be it's it's difficult really to to destroy um, in a sensible fashion. Um, yeah, you can see it has. An equivalent of of 500 millimeters of uh, rolled armor, rolled homogeneous armor, I believe, is that. So, um, yeah, kind of kind of difficult. Um, not not difficult target, but difficult to destroy. And we don't know how many aircraft there are. Actually, we could also might need to attack the tarmac space over here because they might just park in the open, um, and and that would be sort of difficult. What I am thinking however is that you can see by the way you can see that this is probably the civilian area uh, with the large aircraft hangars up here and the open tarmac space um, and this is probably more the military area. However I'm thinking that we could destroy maybe potentially um, the um, the airport operationally. Um, there's only one as far as I can tell uh, only one um, fuel tank over here uh, which is much more vulnerable um, and which could potentially 
be targeted pretty easily, I guess. Um, doesn't have that many damage points either. So maybe uh, we could just stuff them of fuel and just to make sure maybe of, of ammo. Uh, I think there were two ammo um, places, one here and one maybe, yeah, there. So two ammo pads ah, and an ammo shelter. So this is a bit more armored. No, it's not actually armored, but it does have a lot of damage points. Um, still, if we were to destroy all their armor and and all their um, all their fuel, and they would still have the runway itself, but it wouldn't be that useful to them um, anymore. So I think that might actually enable us to to operationally destroy um, this guy over here. Um, we'd also need to think about the their defenses um, a bit harder. Um, again, this IHawk over here um, does have a very decent range. Um, I'm, I'm trying to find out, um, or we're, I will be trying to find out between episodes, um, if this, um, if it's just the um, capacity of that really, just like the, um, if, if there's a lower floor, floor of, um, um, of, of attack um, points, so if, if we can maybe fly very low, we'd also need to think about how we attack it. Um, whether we come in from the sea, it's just very open, um, or whether we try any sort of attack just from um, from the mountainous area here, maybe try to fly through one of these um, sort of valleys um, to evade radar uh, detection as long as possible. Um, you can see that they, in principle, have radar coverage up until here, but um, since they're very low, just elevation of 30 feet ab above uh, sea level, um, and, and there are some mountain ranges here. So if we, for example, just flew like this and, and then came up from here, they probably wouldn't be able to see us um, if we fly very low in the, in this area at least um, until we get above an altitude of of, of maybe one and a half thousand feet. So we can think about that, um, but of course there, there might be um, also other uh, defenses that we don't know of yet. This one we pretty much only know of because um, we have um, seen it, its radar uh, being active, um, at least every now and then. Um, so that's probably... Um, th there might be more. There, there might be just um, some man pads or stuff like that. So, oh, new contact. Mobile by, by Boeing. So, yeah, here we go. So, um, the our Boeing over here. Where is it actually? Boeing 707 Santiago. Have we got a Boeing in the air? I don't, didn't think we did. Um, but maybe we do. Who are you? Oh yeah. So we have this Eland um, Boeing sort of guy over here. By the way, we need to check if it's able to. Yeah, so it's not able to um, actually uh, refuel in the air. So we need to be a bit wary of that. Um, and let's see what we got down here. So yeah, another radar installation which is emitting stuff and and it's somewhere in this area. Probably it's not at sea, so it's it's probably just where where they actually think it is. Probably just around close close to the sea, and uh, it covers this area. So then again, here we might to think about need to think about um, our flight path a bit more. Could come in like this, and then sort of loop around that. Oh well, we'll have to see. Basically, uh, we now. Uh, have a very good idea that they'll probably be able to um, spot on the entire range of there. Um, let's keep an eye on these guys down there. Um, let's periodically check on, on an update on these reports, and though so far there hasn't been anything. Right. Some aircraft going back and forth. Looks good. I think we can speed it up a bit. More mobile uh, units down here. So probably some, some anti-air to protect this radar, um, I guess. Do we get a contact report? Oh yeah, it's another IHOG battery. And you can see that they do have different um, radars, right? You have one 
2D, um, so they don't know the altitude. This only would um, give information about the range. So, yeah, that's that's not necessarily that important. Let's speed things up a bit. Um, another contact of commercial fishing boat, I believe. And these are there's just these. Oh yeah, okay. It's a bit it's a bit further down. Um, maybe a bit protecting also this this um, airfield down there. Where's the commercial fishing boat? Can't be this one. Ah no, okay. They actually um determined the name of this the boat um because probably one of the helicopters um got close enough to to actually not know that it's just a commercial fishing boat, but actually which one. Uh, which is fair enough, I guess. Uh, we can also, in the meantime, have a look at the other airport down here. And you can see s maybe a similar pattern. Yeah, so it's it's a military, um, it's a purely military-grade airport, isn't it? No, 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 it's combined. Um, but you can see that it does have um, another taxiway up here, a couple of access points, um, storage area. It's just Hilo, no. Yeah, more more tarmac space, ammo shelter, ammo pad, access points, access points, access points, control tower, passenger terminal, which of course you don't need to attack. More gas. How long is your runway? Yeah, also 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 an international airport. You rarely. Um, it rarely makes sense to attack the runway, actually. Um, it's just way too long. Most fighters are able to to evade that quite easily. Um, this was also a different sort of anti-aircraft version. Civilian runway, probably atomic spaces. A terminal was over there. Gas control tower, passenger terminals, ammos. Ammo pads, tarmac space. Yes, yeah, so they also have so many, um, so many access points and so many shelters that I don't think it makes sense to take these. Um, and up here, this seems to be a smaller airport, um, but it's still possible for very large aircraft to to go about that. Um, so. Again, probably probably not what we'll be attacking. <coughs> Even one down there, Jesus. Okay, that's probably a very large runway. Yeah, eleven thousand feet. So yeah, we won't be attacking the runway. We won't be attacking um, the aircraft shelter itself. Um, but we might very well um, try to disable them operationally. Okay. Um, let's zoom out a bit and speed up things. Before we would launch any attack we would need to do some uh, detailed planning and, and uh, whoops, what do we have here? Um, some some detailed planning and, and we need to refit basically um, most of our um, aircraft. Okay, very interesting. Uh, another Periclass uh, frigate over here. Uh, we've seen these guys down uh, in the south before. Um, but we know, now have spotted one guy um, just being... and another skunk? Okay. So, yeah, so somewhere within these red and yellow uh, rectangles there's, um, there are some, some aircraft and I think probably this guy spotted them. Um, we also need to be a bit careful. Let's actually fly some of it's that direction um, and you can see just like how it knows the emission came from about there but it just doesn't know very well uh, how far away it was so at least two ships um, down here somewhere uh, which might be threatened or, or be threatening to whoop. yeah okay that's that's an actual fleet down there um, we already know four ships right frigates skunk skunk is just generally if you don't know what it is um, so these guys are actually probably armed with some sort of just machine guns, close-in weapon system, 
torpedoes, um, bigger gun, that's probably this thing up there, and Nixie, I believe these are anti-naval ships, or anti-air ships, uh, anti-air missiles, um, and they can carry harpoons, so that's that's not as great. Uh, we, in the meantime, have much better information on these guys. Uh, we have also spotted a couple of their landing ships um, up here. Interesting. Um, pretty good. Pretty good fix on that. Why do we actually know about you? Ah, oh, because of the you actually have radar missions. Okay. Uh, so it's interesting to see them run with ra active radar on. Um, what do we know about you? Yeah, I'm, I'm I'm pretty certain it's not the Spanish ship um, down there because that would be actually our ship. So it's probably this guy up here. Um, again, has a gun. Um, a couple of other different mounts, but does it have missiles? Anti-air. Yes, it does have harpoons, probably. So yeah we are picking up a big fleet actually up, up here jesus it's it's five nine ships at least um so this is going to be interesting um we'll certainly want to prevent um the landing ships from from getting anywhere uh, where they could cause great harm um but we'll probably need to think about their defenses a bit um harder um I'll just let it run for a couple of seconds so we can get better information up there. Wait, whoa, 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 what's going on here? Okay, so the picture has become a bit clearer. I, I'll just pause, then we we'll probably have to call it a day for this episode after we go through this a bit. Um, Perry, Perry class, uh, landing ships, frigates. So, yeah, this is probably the... Um, the reinforcement squadron um, for for the Canary Islands. Um, so first off, we're gonna position our um, um, our submarines up there to to be, be a bit um, yeah to in, to basically intercept these guys. Um, I think you can also try to get towards that general direction. Um, you down here um, probably pretty much lost this contact. So I'm going to tell you to go up here and, and keep an eye on the developments that, that could be happening there. You to there, that's fine. Um, but more importantly, and, and somewhat more threatening, um, we do know about a couple of ships in this region. And they're all of this type. So let's look at this a bit more closely. Seems to be a relatively small ship, fast guided uh, missile patrol craft. Um, just over 50 meters long, a uh, crew of 30 people, which is of course not that relevant, but it gives you an idea of, of how big it is. Um, some defensive measures, um, a, s a, a relatively decent gun actually, um, an anti-aircraft um, gun, twin mount, 40 millimeters, it's probably, I don't know, it's probably somewhere around there. Oh, there, probably that guy. Uh, in the back, and this probably the 76 millimeter gun, um, and this one. It has an um, actually a very very high range, uh, even though the uh, warhead isn't that that big. It's an Automat Mark II Mod One, which I'm, to be honest, I'm not that familiar with. So um, let's see if we can find that, even though it's a bit annoying that we have to go through all this list, um, and it's an O. Um, Automat. Okay, there is that it. Mark Mark two mod one, right? Twin. Nineteen eighty. Yeah, I think that should be it. Mark two mod one, yes. Okay. So yes, it is a type of missile. Um it's being launched from uh with with the fins um Ah, it has some boosters. Interesting, interesting weapon. Uh, medium range turbojet powered anti ship missile active seeker. Okay. Active radar seeker. 
uh, at five nautical miles, and ten nautical miles it's passive. So that that's an interesting choice. Do you run with uh, the radar on? Then you are visible at, at a much higher distance, um, but you can actually uh, use um, countermeasures, home on jam, terrain following. So that's bad. Surface hugging basically, so it's can um, terminal maneuver pop up. So it's actually a relatively modern um, missile, a bit like the Exocet that um, hurt the um, Ritz so badly in in the uh, Falklands War. About a ton weight. Okay, so this definitely is is very dangerous. Um, the good thing about this, though, I think, is that it has very little um, air defense capabilities. Um, I mean, this guy, can you actually shoot at missiles? Yes, you can. But probably you're not very good at it. And a 40 millimeter gun, that can't fire too quickly, right? So... Yeah, so interesting. Um, these guys definitely pose a danger, and we'll need to deal with that. Um, but that has gone... Has <laughs> we'll have to wa uh, wait till next episode. Um, we also have to look at this guy up here. Yeah, that's definitely an enemy. It's a flight of two um, aircraft, 350. Yes, that's definitely just more F-16. So, um, yeah, with that note, I'm going to call it a, a too close here. And to see you guys next time.